Hello, everyone. Uh, welcome back in our class today. My name is Victor Digomo here. And in our class today, we are going to be looking at uh, the application of a cosine rule and sine rule in solving some mathematical problems. Uh, okay, you remember that in our previous class, uh, like two classes behind, we have been able to look at how to derive the sine rule and how to derive the cosine rule. And we have started taking, you know, examples that has to do with a problem, mathematical problem that has to do with the use of sine rule and cosine rule in solving them. We started looking at them. We looked at one in the last class here that has to do with a cyclic electrode that has a you know some measures inside it we looked at that in the last class and then in this class we're also going to look at this one uh, right now i want to thank show my appreciation to those of you who have subscribed to the channel there is a reasonable number of you that have subscribed to the channel and uh, there are some of you who are yet to subscribe you know i am very very happy you know i have to show my gratitude to those of you who have subscribed to the channel. I thank you so much for doing that. All right, those of you who have not subscribed to the channel, it's important you do that because when you subscribe to the channel, you'll be able to have access to hundreds of classes you have. You know, I, there are many classes we have done already in various topics in mathematics. You need to check out on those classes. And when you subscribe, you have access to those uh, classes. Okay, you, I don't, you might not know if we have been able to discuss the topic or the area you are having interest, if you are meeting us for the first time, I know there may be other areas too. So when you subscribe, you'll be able to have access to those areas and various topics we have looked at as well. So I thank you so much for you know doing that. All right, without taking our time, I want us to look at this problem here. Okay, this is um, a trapezium there are some descriptions that are provided for us here in the question i have been able to do some of you know the diagram so that we don't have to spend our time trying to do that all right look at this diagram the trapezium and then some informations some information is provided here and the major question says calculate db that's this line db that's the major you know, question that we are requested to calculate. We are going to see how we can apply sine rule or cosine rule, okay, in solving this problem. I told us that it will be better when I start solving problems, you now see how cosine rule is applied. And it will be better when I am solving problems, you now see how sine rule is applied this question may or may not need the use of sine rule you are going to find out that in why i'm solving it look at i we are told that da is parallel to bm as you can see by this so this is parallel to this and you know that one of the characteristics of this a parallelogram is that these two sides have to be what example of a parallelogram is something like a rectangle you know the, these two sides a b have to be equal to d m i think that is an information that can help us to assess this problem if we know that this a b we have to be equal to so why if i'm if i start handling this question now like solution I would say since since a b okay is equals to d m it implies that d m will be equals to what four meters four meters we will keep that we also told that d a is parallel to bm also since hmm, since d 
a this da is per to b m okay sorry this should be okay this da yeah is parallel to b m it then means it then means that uh, like i stated here that d m d a rather this d a will be equals to b m this d a will have to be equal to b m that means that this b m which is not given b m will be equals to six meters so if we put them in position we will have here that this place will be six meters and here to here will be four meters we have to bring out these additional informations to help us know where we can start from i'm sure that is clear okay if we move on do you realize that if from d to c is eight meters and dm is four meters obviously mc will also be four meters you can also put it there that hence that is in addition mc will also be four meters okay so having been able to clear these descriptions one can be able to now you know look at the question again and see where you can start from like i keep on emphasizing a uh, access point in solving any mathematical uh, problem so where can one start from because if you look at this question critically you will realize that this db we are requested to calculate wow it's inside this triangle it's here it's inside this triangle so and inside this triangle this and this is given no angle like this one here like this one here like this one here none of them is available okay this side db is not also available that is what we are, we are supposed to calculate now do you see this triangle here that is triangle bmc this triangle here you see that the three sides are available so we can start from there we i am not trying to be too fast neither too slow because i want you to understand what i am doing here so i have a, i have told us what we have to do and why so i will say from triangle bmc bmc from that triangle do you see that if i calculate the angle here this angle if i calculate this angle that i can from here enter here because this is a straight line yeah and by the time i now have what is inside here i can use it to calculate this db i think i have almost answered the question if you understand that okay let's move on and see how the calculation can go so i will say the angle there is m from triangle this i will say solving for solving for this angle m how using using cosine rule why because three sides of the triangle are available no angle inclusive so that is why we are going to use cosine rule to find that so we will start that cosine rule so cos cos m will be equals to we will state it i am sure by now you've memorized that cosine there are six in number 
there's this number in the previous um, class we've been able to show that that i'm going to show you the fastest way to memorize that okay but we need to memorize it so from there because m look at the letters there capital b capital m capital c so i will remove this m capital m but i will put b squared plus c squared minus m squared all over two times bc so that is that and then it then means cos theta m is equals to b is 4 squared plus c is 6 squared minus m is 5 squared all over 2 times 4 times uh, 6 so this is 4 squared is 16 plus 6 squared 36 minus 25 all over 2 times this is 8 8 times 6 is 48 yeah i think so 48 yeah by my calculation okay so we have now that cos m is equals to 16 plus um this 10 into here is 40 6 plus 6 is 12 that's 52 52 minus 25 over 48 so we have m let me put cos for now cos m equals to 52 minus 25 will give us 27 over 48 27 over 48 which will give us cos m equals to we change this thing to decimal and that's by my calculation is going to give us 0 0.5625 0.5625 0 0.5625 okay so m is equals to cos inverse of 0 0.5625 so we now have m to be equals to the if you take the cos inverse of this it will give you 55.8 degrees 55.8 degrees okay so this is the value you are going to obtain here here so this angle here will be 55.8 degrees that's that you know angle there this will be 55.8 degrees okay now do you realize that if we from here enter here we will be considering I also say I also ask you to check out this that this angle I would say since since um, D M B this angle plus B M C is equal to 180 degrees how and why how and why d m b this angle here plus b m c this angle here is 180 degrees by sum of angles on a straight line by sum of angles on a straight line by sum of angles on a straight line you can put that there some angles on a straight a straight line so you append it there to support your argument okay so it then means we can say that dmb hence dmb that angle is 180 180 degrees minus uh, 55 point eight degrees so this will give us 180 180 minus 55 point eight point eight is equal to 124 point 124.2 degrees that is what we are going to obtain for for this one one 24.124.2 degrees that's what we're able to obtain for that now 
remember we've not been able to solve db all these things are you know procedures that will help us to reach there now are you seeing are you seeing um a triangle of this nature are you seeing this triangle with me are you seeing this triangle and this is capital d b and this is six this is a sketch anywhere this is 124.2 degrees and here is four meters and this is capital m are you seeing that okay so we can use and we are looking for small m small m okay so i can say i can say solving for db okay question mark using cosine rule i may need to say why again because we have do you see have you been able to capture two things here now that when you have which i've been emphasizing earlier before now that when you have in a triangle three sides available no angle inside it use cosine rule look at another instance this is two sides and the angle between them like like this i have an angle here okay two sides and the angle between them we are using what cosine rule because if you apply sine rule here in this three sides without any angle it won't work i'm going to show it when i have an instance that will require us to use a sine rule now here two sides as well i'm trying to meet up with time so there won't be too much explanations you know so that it doesn't look boring all right so this is how it is going to go we are going to use cosine rule using cosine rule then you state that cosine rule you state it you say small m squared is equals to the ones that are not there is b squared plus d squared minus 2bd then cos capital m that angle there so b is 4 squared plus d is 6 squared minus 2 times 4 times 6 then cos bracket 1 4 is it 1 4 no 120 124.2 degrees <coughs> i'm sure this is clear 124 point that so this is this is uh 16 plus 36 minus the whole of this is 48 that is 2 times 4 times 6 is 48. Then you put in bracket cos 124. Cos 124 will give us negative 0 0.56621. Okay? That is what it will give us. Now, recall that minus times minus will declare here to become plus. So we already have, like here before, is uh, 50. What did I generate from that? That 52. 52 plus. Because this time is this minus is plus here. Now we have 48 times this value. Times 48. Times 48. That gave, that gave us uh, 26.98. 26.98. So we add two of them. We add two of them. 52. 52 plus 26, 26.9898 uh, equals to 78.98. So we have m squared equals to 78.98. And you know what will happen? We take the square root of both sides, that means m is equal to square root of 78.98 and m which is uh, equals to db will be equals to square root of this is um, 8.9 is 8.9 meters as well so this is 8.9 meters so do you see the 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 protocol we need to observe to be able to get down here in calculating this you see the protocol we need to observe we followed 
to be able one after the other. So when you are given a question like this, you think and you be able to check what needed to be done or what you have to do to assess to assess you see how I was able to understand that this is parallel to this and by the properties of parallelograms that this will have to be equal to this, this have to be equal to this. And that was able to help me to know that since here is six meters, that this line BM have to be also be six meters as well. And I now saw a triangle that has three sides without an angle. And I was able to understand that what I need to solve for any angle inside this place is cosine rule. And I applied cosine rule in finding this using angle on a straight line. I was able to find that concept helped me to know that here would be 124 or 180 minus this gave me this. And then from there, I was able to extract that triangle as well. And, you know, work on it again and found my answer. So I'm thinking that the explanation I gave here is very, very complete very very complete and uh, good enough to help one to be able to understand this class or this uh, calculation okay please i'm sure that what we did was able to help you in one way or the other like it and then subscribe to our channel so that you can be able to assess you know the the classes you have done already numerous across several topics already so that you can be able to assess those classes all right and then in your own little way you are also supporting us in what we are doing thank you so much for being there